Well, we spent the last hour in this room. It's been wonderful. But we didn't record it. Because I thought we could hear it. Well, I memorized the song, and so we figured that was enough. Yeah, at least. So now we proceed. And, uh, using the power of his male intuition, as we learned from, uh, This will go up way before that. Yep. Uh, we, uh, will be going back. To the future? To the future! Something I forgot to, to do, which I will do from now on. Flux capacitate? Is, is remember flux that... Flux incapacitate. Yeah, you got there it. should be a flux incapacitator. Do you want that? Well, I mean, like, that. if, if we're gonna make another movie, which, like... I mean... I mean... Another what movie? Back to the Future. Oh, they're not gonna do that. No, they're totally good. No, they're not good. No, they're totally, totally No, good. in fact... No, I remember hearing this. Um, what was it? Uh, Robert Zemeckis or what's his face? I thought it was Gale, but I don't know. Uh, one of them has, has like, creative rights to the movie, and has vowed never to allow a remake. A remake, sure. Or, but... or a, a re reboot, a remake, or a sequel. I thought it was specifically a remake that was mentioned in whatever I read, which was kind of recent. Wasn't Look, it? we figured out was in the box. Yeah, it was, uh, Ten dollars. Yeah. Touch your face. Ten dollars. Okay. No. No, touch your face. Touch your face. I touch my face. And you give yourself ten dollars. Touch my face. No, you touch your face. No, you, you touch my face no, right now. No, I'm, all right, this is getting off. Touch my face. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so now we've got that ten dollars, which was super gonna help us in the future. By the way, I love the description of the wallet in uh, in your inventory. Oh, Whoops! You, uh, well, I got that back. I think you can just like fall the fuck off, can't you? Uh, yeah, you can just run to your death. Why does this not? Why are you doing whatever you're doing? Not intentional. All right, monkey, I'm coming. Jeez. These monkeys are super goddamn impatient. They really are. They need to chill their exposed asses. Right? Just like calm them the fuck down. You would think that all the breezes created by these magical wind lines and shit would do it automatically, but no. But no. But no. Did you do all of the things yet? Or just some of the things? Not all of the things. I still have some things left to think. I go in here. Look at all that monkey. We got all those monkeys. You're missing a few. We're Not a couple, but two. a few. No, a couple. Isn't there one for each of those? Yeah, so one of them's about to go jump onto it. I guess right, there's, there's more monkeys. Alright, so there's there's. What happens three if you just, bugs. like, shoot them with your slingshot? Or, like, blow them all into the abyss with your boomer? That'd be sweet. Are you gonna blow all those monkeys? I'm not gonna blow all the monkeys. You're not? I'm not. Weird. Yeah, I'm not into that. I'm a weirdo like that. You can't go for that? Oh, hey, look. Good times. That's right, you shake your Wiimote at him. Wow. I had it with these motherfucking spiders and these motherfucking plates. Don't move. Asshole. They're so lifelike and gross. Do you love them? It's a good thing really. your professor's not here, she would be freaking out. I mean, she was here a moment ago. I mean, like an hour plus ago, before we just hung out in that room. She was. She was here. But nobody knew it. It's true. It's a secret. So, like, like, she was definitely around when you saw, like, a gigantic motherfucking spider. Yeah. She did, did not react to it. Did she not? She must not have been uh, looking yeah, at Yeah, I, I think she was- I think she was looking at you, mostly. If she was looking at the screen, she would have reacted to it. Very, right, it seems likely. She would not have been able to contain herself. <laughs> oh, yeah, because she had that- Seriously, okay, so like, was it like a week ago maybe? She like posted to Facebook something being like, uh... Alright, seriously people, you gotta start putting like, trigger warnings on your spider yeah. pictures. And I was like, like what even? Like, I, I, I don't disagree with you, but like, how is there a problem in your life where people are posting enough spider pictures that you need to tell them to like, seriously get their shit together? and warn you that they're gonna post a really graphic spider This picture. is what I'm wondering. Like, who are these people? Why is she friends with them? And what is wrong with those people? So, I have asked all these questions, and I've not gotten a suitable answer to any of them. There what? has to be an answer to them, though. So, like, I... First I asked if it was the same person every time. Apparently it is not. Apparently there's That's more insane. than one person. How is that possible? That feels the need 
to what are they like competing? Are there are, are there like people who are like no, my apartment has the grossest spiders. No, my house has the grossest spiders. And so they're just like posting back and forth forever. Not that I've noticed. Um, but every now and then we'll just be like lying in bed, chilling, looking at Facebook or whatever, and all of a sudden just go, ah! And they're like another spider. And we're like, why doesn't that work? I think we just determined it, it doesn't really. It should though, right? I feel like it should. But I think they just like programmed it weirdly so that. They have to add a step to your Halloween process. Hey, speaking of which, yeah, only got uh, like a month left. It's true. Are you excited? Yeah, we gotta get our banjo costumes together. <laughs> we went as banjo last year. No, but like, I, I, I'm gonna be bottles the mole, and we need to get uh, I don't know, someone. Oh, that this is a fun topic of conversation because it'll be super relevant to everyone watching this. Uh huh. Uh. Guess who was at Friday Night Magic this past week? Who? Uh, you get three guesses. Your clues are, it is someone you could guess, but that you are unlikely to guess. And that it is someone that we both know. Personally? Or yes. know of? Personally, no. Uh, wait, what was the first, the second clue? Uh, you... You are- it is possible that you would guess this person, but you are very unlikely to guess them. Um... Can I ask more questions? No, those are the clues you get, and you get three guesses. Uh, alright. It was... Why is this happening to you? How could this happen to me? I made some mistakes, and now I'm fading away! I still don't know who it was. I got nothing. You uh, haven't made any guesses at all. Um, who are we play magic with? Um, like you have another hint. You're already on the wrong track. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> oh, the answer is Dana Rudnitsky. You're correct. Yes, because I saw that she was posting on Facebook that she was like talking about magic and shit. Yeah, and I was literally like, what happened? And like, she didn't respond to that, and then she was just at Friday Night Magic, and I was like, no, really, like, what happened? Was it a good time? Did you guys hang out? A little bit, I guess. She was playing in the two-headed giant event with some dude I didn't know. That's cool. I don't like two-headed giant. You may recall that every time we played two-headed giant, it was the worst experience of our lives. No, except for the first time. The first time was alright. The first time was amazing. We, like, kicked butt and got almost got into the finals. But some, like, brother-sister team, like, out-brother-sister us. I don't ever remember kicking butt at two-headed giant. No, we did really well. You don't remember, really? I remember... I remember the decks. I genuinely remember the decks better than the play. <laughs> it was Alara. I think it was Conflux. Um, no, it couldn't have been Conflux. Conflux came out when I was already in Los Angeles. Really? Yeah, that's where I re-met Chaz. Then it was... Then it was Shards? It had to be Shards. Anyway. I had, I'm pretty sure I had Broodmate Dragon. Because I always had Broodmate Dragon in that form. It's so, like, every time I, I drafted... Anytime I was, like, playing Limited Alara, I had Broodmate Dragon in my deck. The card is awesome. So it was... It makes a girlfriend dragon token. What more could you ask for, really? It's really the best thing, really. We, were, we did a two edit John game. And we played... And we were very successful. I don't remember what our decks were like. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was just doing Jund things. I was really into Jund at yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, that's probably It was right. acceptable in the 80s. It was. Now people consider Jund to be racist. It's not actually true. But it'd be funny if it was. You know, uh, Loading Ready Run has created their own, like, sub-meme thing of... Like, one, one of their friends really likes to play Jund color aggro decks. Okay. And so, like, basically any time in, like, their sketches or anything that someone asks him for advice about something, he'll just be like, Jund him out! And they're like, what does that mean? He's like, Jund him out! What does that mean? You just attack with all your Jun colored cards. Nice backflip, bro. Thank you. Bam. So, tell me something, Tegazur. Yes. Let's go to Gamer. So, that like. Is your real name. It no. totally is. You're talking. So, like, you're hanging out in your apartment. Maybe you, like, walk downstairs to the, the garage or something. Yeah, uh huh. And then down from the ceiling descends, like, an eight foot tall spider with a giant face on its ass. Yeah. What do you do with your life? Uh, pull out my sword and kill it. Um, do you have a sword here? Uh, I, I, 
<laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Are you wearing a $30,000 suit? Is that what's happening? There's something I don't like about it, but like I can't... I don't know if it's rational or what, but like I was struggling with this. It just feels like a lot of buttons to get it going. I do have a sword here. Well, it's a, it's a blade, really. What are you looking at? This is a really good question, actually. It's nothing to look at. But it's I'm walking here. Yeah, fuck him up. Oh, not cool. Dude, what is up with them? They, they have got your goose cooked today. They do. They've got my number. Uh, so there's a box over there. Yep. Go to it. Okay, you can go to there. Go into there. Open it now. What could be in it? Ten dollars US. Twenty dollars US. Ten dollars US. Are they demerits? Demerits are my favorite cards. I didn't realize that the merits were currency. No, they're from Resmatas stories. Oh yeah, oh yeah, right. It was just like, you picked up one D, and you're like, do you even know that's currency? <laughs> I recall that. We're going this way. It says boss battle. I mean, what? Did you get all of them boxes and monkeys? I got all Check of them. Check your box and monkey map. <laughs> I got all of them. How can you be sure? Well, there's all the monkeys. I definitely got all the boxes, too. How do you know? Because I got them all. Look, it's like that game. Um, Fire Flying Lola Pirates? Monkey. Yeah. You ever played Flying Pirates? It's a sweet game. No, never heard of it. Uh, it's a board game with, like, this weird, like, teeter-totter thing mm -hmm. that you put, like, a pirate ship on either one, mm -hmm. and then they have, like, netting as their rigs. Oh, that sounds like fun. And then, like, the idea is you get these little, like, pop out of cannons that you put barrel of monkeys looking pirates in. Right. And you have to try and get all of your pirates onto their ship so that the weight topples it over. That sounds like fun. It's a really sweet game. Right, I so like it a lot, actually. Everything's gotten. I got all the all the gotten. Everything that is to be gotten. Great, do it. Now win the game. I would have really enjoyed it if you just rolled into the abyss. <laughs> just one time. Just been like, alright, let's do it. Let's go fight the boss! Is that necessary? Yes. Oh, Whoa. sure. Fine. Let's see if I care. What? I think it was on the other side. If it even exists. I think it does, but I'm not entirely convinced. Of it. There it is, found it! They always there's always a fairy basket. I learned something though, that we're gonna have to do after this uh in the next regular episode of the game. Is it racist? Is the thing we have to do racist? It's a little racist. I'm not sure I'm okay with that. Yep. Most you're excited. <laughs> you hope I'm excited for racism? Yep. Are you excited? Don't really? answer that question. Yeah, I don't. I mm, Fifth Amendment. All right. <laughs> time for boss battle time. All right. So, what is your strategy going into this event? Win. Would you say that this is a must-win boss battle? Yes. Mm. I say that that we're just gonna go out there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna play our best. Yep. We're gonna. What percentage would you say that you're gonna give it? Uh, 110 at okay. least. Maybe 120 wow. if I can pull it out. We'll see. I, you oh, know, I, I think I've you been, can pull I've it been out. training a you know lot. Oh, who, who's training you? Oh, you know. You don't. Is it War Horse Trainer? No, it's a secret. Oh no, it's. It's. Uh, it's two of those guys. It's Audrey 2 and 3. <laughs> There's two of them. One of you. Oh no, however, will I win? I don't remember. Well, their, their first weapon, aside from fanatical devotion to the Pope, is unnecessarily loud music. Enjoy! And you're dead. I wonder if the other one just, like, gave up after that. Like, <laughs> no! Audrey 2! <laughs> yes, Audrey. Yeah. It should be funny if it was if Audrey 2. Audrey 3 was the one that died. <laughs> Alright, we did it. But you did it from left to right, so clearly that's 2 oh, to 3. Right, you're right, you're right. It's Audrey 1! That's kind of offensive, isn't it? Wasn't Audrey 1 like a person? Yeah, a woman. Aren't you kind of just suggesting that she's monstrous now? Yep. Oh, you missed me, bro! Right. You're too slow. Uh, maybe you should win? So, uh, what's the strategy here? The bomb guys are gone. The strategy is wait for this monkey to show up. 
he's, he's gonna swing back and forth. So is his butt. And reveal his secret weapon! Is it ready? Secret weapon is now ready? Give it to his face. Or that. Oh yeah. I forgot. We learned that that was a thing you could do. Attack! Probably just keep doing that, I guess. Yeah, I think that's what I'm just doing. Come on, monkey, show me your moves. So, why does this monkey want to help? Oh, poison. Poison. I mean, like, I get that the monkey was sort of remorseful after its butt battle with you. Well, because he was a good monkey, but then he was doing bad stuff. Because his monkey was mind control. That didn't work out in your favor. It did not. Ow. Now. Hypothetically, say that a fortune cookie were to predict the situation. What exactly do you think that cookie would say? Who wants a piece? For you! Oh. Who knows, maybe the whole lake is flammable. That'd be sweet. Give it to him. What? I just, I just wiggled his nose a little bit. Oops! It feels slightly less ridiculous now. Like, this seems like it should be easier than it actually is. This is, like, kind of tough. Part of the annoying thing is that if you, like, do it at the wrong time... Well, yeah, I mean, like, you just keep getting attacked. Like, it's it's really difficult. I mean, what? like, you can... Here, oh, what? What? I don't understand. That, that went weird. Oh, I gave it to him. Yeah. I swear, though, it just, like, warped in his mouth. It didn't, like, eat it or anything. It yeah, weird. I know. Oh. oh, I keep forgetting to target. See? It's, there's a lot of things oh. to try and remember all at once. There, there really are. It's, it's, I mean, it's certainly not the hardest boss battle, but it's definitely not the easiest for a first one. Bam! I got him. So, do you know why giant plants uh, do that when they die? Why? Because of um, liquid in their s stem and it curls up or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's always good when your explanation is like, um, whatever or something. Mm. Hey, do you know what plants are made of? What, pla what plants are made of? Like, I think it's like 80%. Maybe 90. Uh, Pepsi Cola. Yep. <laughs> plants did not exist before Pepsi. Yeah, no, it's true. That's where it all goes. That's how they stay in business. <laughs> Who actually likes Pepsi? Or Pepsi? My dad does, actually. He's a monster. I found that out relatively recently. He's a monster. I don't know. I, I find them both to have their own merits, but I do definitely prefer Coke. <coughs> One of the merits of uh, Pepsi Cola is that uh, it is definitely easier to get the, the like, actual sugar kind in stores, although it is relatively rarely sold. Pepsi? Really? Yeah. <coughs> is that so? Yeah. I mean, here in LA, it's pretty easy to get as long as you're willing to buy glass bottles of Coke. Yeah. You won't know exactly what few shadows are. Well, you'll have to get them all for me, so it'll be too late to ask any reasonable questions. It's funny. There are a lot of, um. There are a lot of temples in the other games. Yeah. And sub temples. This game. I mean, you start out and you're like, oh, you've already gotten one dude, and then you get here and you get something. It's like, oh, there's only two left. You know what I mean? If, yeah. It, like, it feels like the game's got, doesn't have a lot left to it. Even though it does. There's a ton yeah, left but, obviously. like, it's just like a fake out is what it is. Yeah. It's just interesting. You should, you should slowly backtrack your way all the way out, like, the main entrance. Let's go outside. You're like, oh, but I didn't bring my sunscreen. All right. Join us for the ah! We didn't do the like watch this or that. Do it here. <laughs> I guess. By the way, if you want to watch Vasco's thing, click over here. Right here. Click. Or if you want to save the game and then continue on, click over here. Yeah, maybe over here. Somewhere in this region. The yeah, next time that you would that you would want to watch it, it will not be available immediately. You have to wait. Sorry. Join us then. Touch your face. Ah! Hmm. Ah. What are those guys doing there? 
It's a pretty elaborate gate. It's almost like they don't want us to walk in there and fuck them up. Hello, I'm a dog. <laughs> The only things I can say in English are, I am a dog, and this sentence explaining the fact that that's the only other thing I can say. I'm a dog. I'm so annoying that they keep falling over. 